first of all, what I want to cover is our smart alignment tools. I'm going to bring an image into the page, and I'm going to move this image around the page. And you'll notice that you'll see a, a red alignment guide pop up when I'm in a certain area of the page. And what this is telling me is when I've crossed the center boundary of the page with an image. So, and it's going to light up when I'm either center horizontally, vertically, or both. So right now I'm just vertically centered. If I let go of the, of the mouse, it's going to snap to that position. If I move it around further, I'll see both of them light up. And now I'm centered in the page and I can release and it'll snap to that position and my image will be perfectly centered. This also works in relationship to other images as well. So I'm going to bring in another image here. And now I'm going to have a few more guides pop up. I'm going to scale this and rotate it. I'll have a few more guides pop up when I, when I uh, pass certain areas in relationships not only to the page itself, but also to areas of an image, like, like the edge of an image or when I cross the center of another image. So right now I'm centered in this top image to the left-hand uh, edge of the bottom image. And if I let go, it'll snap to that position. If I want to align edge to edge, for example, it'll tell me when I've reached that point. And now both of the um, left-hand edges of the top image and the bottom image are aligned with each other. The alignment line lights up. And if I let go, it'll snap to that position. So this allows me to very easily align images to one another on the page. And that's a brand new feature in Image Print 10. We call that our smart alignment um, guides. I'm going to get rid of one of these images and just have this image now up here. And I'm going to bring in um, a text window. So I'm going to click on that text icon and I'm going to place it anywhere I want on the page. In this uh, text window, I can choose the font. Um, it'll show any font that's on your system. Uh, Times New Roman is what's selected here. That's fine. And my point size is 96. That's okay with me as well. And let's look at the advanced tools, um, the color of the text, whether we want a background color, a drop shadow, all that can be set. Um, right now, uh, red text. Let's go ahead and I'm going to select black. And I'm going to type in some text. Image, print, V10. And if I'm okay with it, I'm going to hit the green checkbox. And it's going to place that text on the screen. Um, if I don't want to place any more text, I can turn that tool off. And now, just like an image, the text um, region is also a live region that can be moved anywhere you want on the page. I'm going to place that up here. And as I move an image around, it's going to let me know when I'm centered with that text because it's an item as well. Um, and right now it's uh, in the center of the screen. I'm going to move that off a little bit so we don't get confused with the actual center uh, margin of the page itself as being centered with the text. So right now it's telling me I'm centered with that text region and I can release it. It'll snap to that. And again, this is how we can combine uh, these alignment tools with all aspects of either images on the screen, um, text regions, or anything else. Let's take a look at our last uh, item on our floating tool palette, and that's our uh, manual alignment tool. And this is where we can have multiple images on the page and select how we want to align them to each other. So I'm going to bring in a few images here, scale them down, make them a little smaller to deal with. Let me move these away from one another. And if I held my con command key down and select each image, and then I select my tool here at the bottom, it's going to allow me to align those images to each other um, in any way I want. So I'm going to choose the uh, left edge and it's going to align it to uh, the image that I had selected first which was that center image and so both that top and bottom image were aligned to the left edge of that center image so let's do that again a little differently and this time we're gonna make 
the uh, top image. It's active right now, so that'll become the master image. And I'm going to select the other two images. And we'll go down here and we'll do the same thing. And we can see how they aligned now to that top image. So which image, whatever image we select first becomes the image that we will align to. Sticking with alignment, let's look at a couple other ways to align image, images in image print. I'm going to go over to my preferences. So under image print, I'm going to select preferences. I'm going to notice that under pages, um, right now we were set to use the smart alignment settings. But we also have um, a way to turn that off and use a grid system. So what I'm going to do is select um, use grid. And my grid spacing is going to be at uh, half an inch right now. And I want it to snap to the uh, top left of each grid intersection. I'm going to close that down. And I can see that uh, my grid pops up now on the screen. And I have a grid line that's uh, every half inch. Um, and they line up uh, perfectly at the uh, ruler intersections of every inch and every half inch. Uh, I also can offset that if for some reason I need to. Under advanced, if I go to my auto layout settings, uh, we have a page origin. And we can control um, where that page origin point starts. And if I change that, you can actually watch my grid offset as I do that in real time. And so if I need to change my grid um, to offset from my standard rule ruler alignments, I can do that by changing the page origin. Um, right now I'm going to set that back to 0, 0 because I do want them to to uh, line up perfectly. And I'm going to bring an image in to the screen. And I can see now that uh, my uh, grid is there and if I'm in a grid segment and I release it will snap to that uh, upper left hand corner which is what I told it to do in the preference and I can change that so that it snaps to um, any area of the grid square that I want it to. I'm going to go back to my uh, image preferences. I'm going to go back to a um, smart alignment setting and that'll turn off the grid. And I also want to show you one other area that we've added inside image print and that's the ability to, if I grab in this ruler, I can actually grab an alignment uh, line and place it anywhere I want on the screen. And then I can align to that line as well. And I can do that both horizontally and vertically. And those are a few new areas in Image Print 10 that we've added to, to really give you a variety of ways to align images. Everybody works a little differently um, and they do different things whether we're doing book layouts um, or just uh, image layouts um, for uh, photographic printing. Um, we have uh, something that will satisfy just about every way of laying out an image.